and we are back for part three of our body confidence series with Pia Scavo Campo. Oh, I almost got it. Girl, Pia, you got it. You got it. Am I getting better? I should. Schiavo Campo. Schiavo Campo. What, there you Pia, go. what is it? Italian? Yes, my father's Italian. <gasps> Sicilian oh, so now name. I can say it with some pizzazz. Yes, you can. Schiavo oh, Gampo. I love it. I love it. That's where that fire comes from, right. Pia. Could be. Oh, my goodness. And talking about fire, we're going to talk today about healthy at any size. Health at any size is so important. Um, yes. This was actually a book written by Linda Bacon some years ago. Um, and she's a researcher and a professor and a PhD. And she writes about the fact that you cannot assess somebody's health by looking at them. Yes and simply based on their weight or their dress size. Yeah. You can't do it. Totally agree. Yeah. Totally, totally agree. I know I shared it with you a little bit earlier that I have a sister who's 95 pounds, been 95 pounds all mm -hmm. over her life, and she's the unhealthy one. And you know, I was well, growing up, it was like, oh my goodness, you're, I'm obese, so you're gonna be the unhealthy one. It's just not true. You cannot, you cannot tell. You cannot gel, or nor can you judge if, by looking at someone and saying, oh, you're not, you're unhealthy but you just, you can't do it. I think, Pia, the other thing that I, I really want to say on this is that one of the things that we have to do more is listen to our body. Oh God, yes. Because I think sometimes as women and mothers, and I'm just going to relay my story a little bit, because um, I had a stroke in 2011. Mm -hmm. And if I would have listened to my body mm -hmm. and taken in the signs, I probably would have not had a stroke. I would have went wow. in and went on um, some medication, changed my diet a mm -hmm. little bit, and just, um, you know, avoided it. Listen to your body, but you also have some really great suggestions about being healthy at any size. You know, I think it's really important. I mean, I think in general, doctors tend to be very prescriptive mm -hmm. and that they want to have the same um, approach to health, no matter who the person is. But we are yes. so individual, right? And what works for my body as someone who has fibromyalgia yeah. is gentle exercise and yoga. Yeah. You know, whereas I know women who are, you know, who would happily say I'm fat yeah. and they're doing triathlons. Yeah. It is about listening to your body. It's about breaking down stereotypes and showing people that yes. health comes at any size. I'm an 18, I have perfect cholesterol, and I have perfect blood pressure. Look at that, right? Right. But it's for you, it's all, it's the mind, it's the body, it's That's right. everything. It's the it's spirit. It's got to be holistic. Yes. If you don't have a healthy mind and you don't have a healthy spirit, yeah. is that real health? I don't think so. It's not. You know, it, it, I'd rather be at this weight and feel great about myself and have great mental health yeah. than be in a size six body and not necessarily have all of those things. Because yes. so. it, it, you're so right about the spirit. You yeah. know, one of the things, like I've been on medication for my blood pressure and my stroke. Mm -hmm. The one big thing that I changed, I changed my diet. I ate more greens mm -hmm. and I gave up junk food. But one of the things, I got peace. I got yes. inner peace and oh my goodness, that makes all the difference in the world. It really does. It, it does. makes such a difference. And you know, as you said, I think really listening to what your body wants and what your body needs yes. is important. And I think it's important to remember that women who are curvy or fat or plus size aren't sitting around eating bonbons all day. Exactly. You know, I mean, that is the stereotype, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's just not true. You know, we're eating all kinds of healthy things, but do I enjoy Absolutely. pizza and cake? Hell yes. yes. Me too. <laughs> Me too, right? Healthy at any size, girl. That's right. We love it. Make sure you join us, Pia. Thank you so much. Thanks, Make sure Jerry. you join us next episode because we're going to be talking about how to be a plus size role model.